should we go old school chef and you do it wrong and just throw the plate? Damn it, Brad! <laughs> no! No! Key! <laughs> All right, so we're back in Austin, and we're gonna team up with- Action. Oh. What the <laughs> f***, man? That's rude. Hey guys, today we're in Austin, Texas, and we're gonna be teaming up with Keith from Keith Krieger Studios, and we're gonna be learning how to make some ceramics. Being a food guy, it's always been food, 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 but what you plate that food on is just as important. And getting something that's handmade and crafted by a person is something special to me. Being able to pass that down, you know, it's, it's a piece of art, not just a paper plate. So uh, let's meet Keith and let's get started. Let's pretend we're in first grade. So just All right, we're not of... far off. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get along well. Just grab um, a piece. Grab a little piece, kind of roll it up into a ball. All of the touches throughout the process kind of stay in there. So okay. that that's what I love about this material is like what you do is there. And it's there for a really long time. Right. I mean, you know, there's these thousand year old pots that someone's hand made. It's amazing. And their touch is in that and it's sitting on a shelf and right. yeah. But it's an actual person made that. Yeah, I guess they, I don't think it even picks up like your fingerprints. Totally. So I mean, if you got to make sure that, that you want to smooth that completely out, I'm assuming. Or not. Or not. Yeah. yeah. No, Depending I mean, on. those are all the, the choices you get to make as, as the... As the, the artist. As the artist, as the person making stuff. As long as you take care of it, it's something that you could... Yeah. I mean, like you said, like... It's, it's what we dig it up. It could last forever. It's culture. It's what we dig up to learn about how people lived. Right. We're just continuing on, on this 10,000, 20,000 year long history of making pots. Is that how long, yeah? Yeah. Wow, that's a beautiful yeah. thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, speaking of steps, what's uh, what's next for us, Keith? Let's wedge some clay up. So we're gonna yeah, we're means. gonna need some dough, right? right I feel like here. I mean this is gonna be easy for you because I feel like. Well, you're. Oh, it's not that. It, yeah, it's actually it actually wants to move pretty. It easily. actually and it softens up a little bit. Something that seems real simple. You're really made. It's actually pretty pretty difficult. I can slow it down for you. Yeah, let me just see what, what exactly it is. So here. instead of folding it over, mm -hmm. I'm just kind of pushing it and rolling. Just keep pushing it. Yep. Okay. Man, yours. I'm. Hold on. I feel like I'm just so you doing can also, the wrong thing. No, you're, I mean, you're doing a different method. <laughs> okay. We're, you know, close. Nailed it. <laughs> see, mine's a sculpture. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a, a man resting. Uh, yeah, it's a thinker. Fire it. It's Here we go. Thinker. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, we're gonna just clean that up now. a bit. Boom. Boom, nailed it. Let's go get by the wheel and uh, start making some bowls. Awesome. This wheel is our tool. Okay. And we're gonna use physics <clears throat> from here on out to make this piece. Science. It's not a muscle thing. Okay. It's not like brute strength. It's about controlling. So my arms are in, so my body's working together. So we're gonna make a nice, decent sized bowl here. God, that's a, you gotta shoot down on that, man. That's freaking, it's so mesmerizing to watch. So, you're starting to form the inside of the bowl. Exactly. Just kind of refining that curve, getting what I want. And pretty soon is where it like really gets magical and all of a sudden this thing just appears. And you can see I'm slowing down a lot, right? As sure. we're getting thinner and as we're getting wider. A little more delicate. Exactly. Well, that's my kind of soup bowl right there. Man, that's a beautiful thing. It's, it's really, it's, it's kind of blowing me process. away, you know? Just feeling how delicate, it, you know, just dealing with it. I mean, I had a hard time turning it into a, a, a triangle, you know, let alone make like a beautiful, and it was soft. It wants to, it, it seems like something that is so easy to screw up, and we're about to find out that that's true. <laughs> Here's the really cool thing about clay, and at least this part of throwing is, so right now we've got this beautiful kind of like clean form. You're welcomed into this bowl, but not the same way as one little change makes, flaring that rim out just a little bit. Oh wow. Bit. And that's not a huge change, but it's visually it's a big change. Changes the profile completely. Completely, how the light hits it, how your eye like. The subtleties. Yep, the inside of this bowl is now becoming the more impart, important part of the piece than the outside of the bowl. So there we go, there's our bowl. Easy peasy. Super easy. Oh God. Um, you're gonna I make the same exact thing. You wanna pretend you made it? Not at all. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. 
Yes, please. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Cool. Let yep. me uh, let me f this up. <laughs> All right. In grab, the hot seat. Grab one of those bats from there. Okay. So get a little water on there. Yep. I mean, that's satisfying. <laughs> that was easy. Um, <laughs> you nailed it. I nailed it. So get that wheel going like just moving. And just pound that. Down like that? You, you're, you're trying to get it towards the center. Not, not too much down. Okay. There you go. Now that you're centering, a little bit more water. And I want you to remember to lock those elbows in. Into my body. Yep. Use that six foot nine frame to kind of okay. move that clay. All right, before I get going. Yeah. Hey, what am I doing wrong? What, you want me, am I supposed to let him go, Vincent? Okay, we're gonna let you go for a bit. <laughs> Great, that's fun. No, because I can fix it. Okay, <laughs> already, huh? <laughs> Work well, that dough, Brad. Work the dough. It's actually pretty, it's very difficult. <laughs> Don't let that clay push you around. Brad, does this remind you of anything? No. What doesn't this remind you of? A success. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's hurting him this, literally. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just giving you your next tip. Yeah. Your right elbow, lock that shit into your hip okay. or your waist, wherever is comfortable enough you for you. Get yeah. that in there. So that it's not moving. So you can see my hands wobbling. Yeah. That should not yeah. be. Your body is this lever against the, the okay. motion of that wheel. Oh, all right. I see. Yeah. Do you see how much less your hands are moving now? Yeah, big time. Yeah. So that clay is on center right now. So, oh, Jesus Christ. next step. <laughs> next step. You're gonna take your thumb, mm -hmm. but okay. right here, okay. right dead center, and push down until you. Yeah, you, you can't go. be scared. There, no, no, you got it. You're working this clay. Right. It's gonna listen to you. It's gonna push back at you, but you have to actually make the move. Right. Slowly. Slowly. Look at that. It's something. It's looking like something. Man, I could see myself getting into this. Yeah, that first summer I took a class. Hooked. I think I was in there 14 hours a day. It's yeah, just like, like what the hell else you want to do? Yeah. But these are the moments where like you get to see how clay reacts to your touch, and it's like it's immediate. Talk to me, Keith. I'm thinking. <laughs> do you have a dog? I do. Okay. No, I don't. What the hell did I say that for? <laughs> well, get a dog, because you have a dog bowl. <laughs> don't do this. Nope. I want you to follow that curve mm -hmm. and keep that pressure all the way off Even. the piece. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really need to push too hard. No, especially at this point. And these are where you get to make the decisions that- Now it's a fancy dog bowl. Now it's a very fancy dog bowl. <laughs> the decisions you make are what makes this bowl yours. Right. There's, I don't know how many millions of bowls have been made on a potter's wheel. Never the same. Yeah, this moment right now and these decisions you make and how you make the rim and how you finish the rim, that's what makes this piece yours versus mine. So that. my hands are off it now, all it's right. all you. All right, oh boy. Here's also where you have to decide when this thing is done. Sure, they're, they're you countless. can play with it forever. Exactly. I mean, that's, I, I feel like if I keep playing with it, I'm just gonna screw it up. I think it looks good. I'm gonna clean up that outside for you a bit. The purpose it was serving here was to give us support. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this extra because we don't need it right now. There's your bowl. It ain't perfect, but, uh, but I made it. And you know, there's something special about that. You yeah. know, even though it has little imperfections, it kind of will always remind me of the story. Yeah. And I think that's, that's kind of important to yeah. me. Yeah, and every time you use piece. that bowl, you, you, you know, because that bowl is gonna, that's I'll a real thing. i think of you every time, Keith. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> All right, great. That was awesome. And that's nice. That's well, nice. That's cool. You know, this will be for my son. Yeah, it's just the scale is off because they, they're the same size. It's just you're so much bigger that it looks. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Keith, I could have spent the entire day on that wheel. I mean, what other styles of ceramics do you dabble so, with here? Right now, I'm going to show you how we make our plates for restaurants. Okay. Um, and we use a method called jiggering. And what that does is that we're using a combo of the wheel and a mold and this kind of arm to put the pressure on. Um, to take the human error out? To minimize? Minimize, okay. yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a little weird, but like, you almost wanna like, it almost looks like you wanna eat it. Like, you know, like a little like, like a nougat. One Direction or? That's a great band. <laughs> <laughs> More Harry Styles, like solo artist kind of guy, but. Um, <laughs> 
All right, here's our super high tech template. You're gonna cut around it. All right. You're gonna make our, our circle slab. This just gets us the this, this size we need. Now we're gonna pick this piece up um, and we're gonna bring it over to our wheel. Screw it. <laughs> just like, just grab it. You can see we've got the outer profile of the plate here. So we made this, um, and this is gonna be our inner profile. I can see how this is very helpful when you need to make uh, 125 of these. You're, well, you're gonna be able to make a perfect plate right now. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Again, I kinda wanna like you don't wanna... this. <laughs> Left hand, pull this down. Yep. And then slowly Seven. add water too, right? So you, yeah, exactly, that's perfect. Now push. Slow. Slow. So that's basically mimicking your hands right. on the thrown piece, right? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna help you out here because this is an advanced move. Okay. I can stop the wheel for a second. <laughs> or go full speed. Oh, sorry, I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mess the whole thing up? Um, we're gonna trade positions just for like okay, okay. a hot second. Cut! <laughs> Damn it, Brad. You need one job, just let go of the gas. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry, Keith. It's processed and we're good. Let me just find this the poor guy. <laughs> Looks great. Yeah, thank you. I had a template, I had a tool that basically did it for me and I uh, managed to blow it. You did great. Thanks. <laughs> we're back to normal. <laughs> Let me just refine this for. Refine, that's what we're gonna, that's the word. Not fix, we're refining, <laughs> we're refining. Where did I? I haven't seen Will go that fast in a really long time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Boom. Another plate. Whew. Couldn't have done it without you, Keith. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if that's true. Couldn't have made this one without you. You could not have made this. This is a special one. That, this is what this one. You can't mark this up 50%, yeah, right? And I know where this one's going, too. So. <laughs> where, the garbage? <laughs> <laughs> it goes right here oh, with the other ones. Look, look at that, that. bud. Here we oh, go. That's nerve wracking. Boom, boom. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Right now, gonna clean up that, that inside just a touch. And you can see I've got the foot ring, so that's all set. And then there's a little extra clay out here. It's gonna work best. And then cleaning up that outside. Yeah, and again, this is, this is kind of mesmerizing. Yeah, it is, man. Every step of the way so far. And especially this, this in slow motion. Vinny, this in slow motion. It's so tight. Vinny, get the phantom. <laughs> So we're gonna finish that. Okay. Flip this over. Okay. Boom, boom. And so now it's not so flimsy. It's kind of. Yeah, it's still plastic, um, but it. I thought it was clay, Keith. Very funny. It's still the clay still. We're has, both dads. The, <laughs> nicely done. The clay still has some plasticity. Cool. Um, so you can see, just like throwing, I'm going. Hands are working together, and I am just gonna cut right in here. Oh wow. I love the subtleties of your style. Can you keep an eye on this for a second? Yeah, I got it. Cool, I'll be right back. Just one eye, he said, right? <laughs> this guy. Now we're gonna take this black glaze. Okay. And brush it in there. We're gonna let this dry a bit, and then we sponge it off pretty, pretty carefully and cleanly, and then that piece is done. Beautiful, man. Love this stuff. Why don't I trim one more, and then we'll, you can do a decoration in there. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Well, that's a little awkward in the hand. Can I use my left? Are you a lefty? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not it sure just, why you would. It just seems right <laughs> for some reason. You use what's comfortable. Keith, you make everything look easy. Okay, going in. How's my angle? It looks great. Stop being afraid, get in there. Make the cut. There you go. Boom. It's the best thing I did all day. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa. That's it. That's good? Yeah. You want to slow that wheel down? I don't want to touch the I don't want to touch the pedal. Grab a little more. We chef. 
Should we go old school chef and you do it wrong and just throw the plate? Damn it, Brad! No! No! Key! I wasn't ready for that. We'll make another. I'm gonna need a minute. Oh, God. Do it right next time, Brad. Can I fix this? Oh, no, Keith. Keith, why did you do that? I'm sorry. I'm high drama. Oh, God. It is just clay, though. We'll make another. That's all right. Let's do it again. God damn Damn it, Brad. <laughs> oh. This is just like. No, it's cool. That actually is my favorite thing to do in demos. Like, I'll throw a vase and, and people, people just like, and then I'll cut it in half. Just like, to like heartbeat yeah. stop. Yeah, because yeah. it's like you're I said, gonna kill someone one day, Keith. Don't do that to old folks. That's true. Yeah. <sighs> Take two, Vince. Let's let's do this for real, and I won't ruin your masterpiece here. Please don't. Expect I have the knife. But All right, now don't mess this up, Brad. Okay. <laughs> you know the consequences. Well, I saw the consequences, but I thought I did it right. <laughs> I hate to see what you do when I really mess it up. There we go. Boom, boom. <laughs> right over here, we can't even tell the difference between the one that I did and the one that you did. Well, we'll go with that. Yeah, these have been dried. So these did that to them yesterday. You can see they have even less moisture. So these will get fired to 1800 degrees. Um, <clears throat> called bisque firing, and that makes it where there's, it's the first time there's a chemical change in the clay. So like you were asking earlier, the clay cannot be recycled at that point. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming, I'm taking, I'm gonna take a, a stab at it here, a guess. After that bisque, you call it a bisque, uh, bisque firing? Yep. I, I, in my head, I'd imagine it being super brittle. No, no, I'm not dropping it. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Keith, no. don't ever do that again. No, and the reason we bisque is because it's sturdy enough to last. So this is the most fragile stage. I want to get it out of this stage as quickly as possible. And it's what amazing. That does, 1800 makes it, chemical change makes it hard enough. It also ha is still porous. So when we dip it in our glaze bucket, the glaze is going to get soaked into the clay a little bit. It's going to bite. Yeah. So we're going to go in. Did you remove your hands so that that... Right there. And that's it. And you can hear it get tucked in there. Wow, and that's just the pour, it's just, it's thirsty. Yep, so it's taking that, that Did you water. pick that up? That was awesome. Here goes nothing, folks. Let's see what happens. All right, this is gonna be, oh, you got the boom. Yeah, let that shake off, and I think you're good on that, yeah. It's good Goose made more noise. All right. I, I did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're gonna let that dry, and then that's gonna go into the kiln and get fired for the glaze fire. Glaze firing goes to 2,350 degrees. That was gonna be my guess. Yeah. We fired this kiln, what's today, Friday? Wednesday. I have no idea. What, okay, whatever day it is, yeah. we fired this two days before. Oh wow. So it's, the cycle is we fire one day, it takes about eight to 10 hours to get to temperature, and then it cools an entire day, and on the third day we're able to open. You wanna do the honors? I would love to. Okay. But you'd never ask. It's like a bank vault. Yeah, this, is, this is good. Just open her up. If it's 2100 degrees, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> that would be not good. Oh, beauty. Oh, beautiful. And we're shiny. Yeah, but I love how the, this is, is. Yeah, that's the raw clay the there. the raw. Yep. And man, look at that. Um, There's that clean that line that we're line. I love how it gets like little weird kind of, almost like, it, like a, maybe you could explain that better. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, well, but, you, you, uh, you set me up perfectly <laughs> on that. It's the crystals forming as this glaze is cooling. And you get these crystals that kind of bounce out of that line. It gives a little bit of life and a little bit of movement. Yeah. So, so this now. This now. Finished product. It is a finished product other than cleaning this up. We're gonna smooth sand, out. Smooth that down, sand it up, and get it ready to pack out to our Well, clients. there's one thing I can say I'm pretty good at is sanding, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Seems right. O OSHA's not gonna be happy with that. <laughs> OSHA, Schmosha. What, blowing on it? Yeah. Why, because it gets in the air? Yeah, the dust isn't good for you. <laughs> oh, glass particles in your lungs not good? It's fine, like, for one minute. Okay. It's just not if we're gonna do this Take every two. day. Take two. Great, so that's it, huh? That's it. Sponge that off and we're, uh, we're clean and ready to go. Beautiful thing, huh? So, I mean, we, you know, 
I, I attempted. You made, did a great job we made bowls. of making bowls. Yeah. But we all, you know, and then we went over there and we, th we made some plates and stuff. We showed the, the you know, the glazing, the, decor the decorative, and uh, and then the final touches for the finishing. Yeah. Um, oh, what was I trying? What was I saying? You spend so much time cooking, and you know everything's food. You know, beautiful this, beautiful that, the garnish. But uh, you know, people really take for granted how much a handcrafted plate or bowl. It's just that much more special. Yeah, and I think everyone notices it. You know, when you're when oh. you're passing something across the table to your friends and you're having a big dinner party, they 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 realize that it's unbelievable. Not, it's it's a one off. Yeah. Keith, thank you again, man. This was super awesome. I appreciate and uh, it. you did great. It was fun having well, you. Well I did something, you, you made, know and you made, you made some stuff. I made some stuff. It was great and, to have uh, you here. Thank you, man. It's great yeah. being here. Yeah. Like I was saying guys, try to get involved in this if you want. Get out there, maybe take some classes or just you know support local craftsmanship. And uh, Keith, thank you again. Of course. Bon appetit. Little ASMR real quick. A what? Oh, stay with us. Okay. Kids I'm are, learning. I'm kids learning. are gonna love it. <laughs> I had no idea until a little while ago what this was. It's so fucking weird. All right, ready? This is the sound of sanding. This this is the sound of me watching him sand. What does ASMR stand for? I still don't know. Asymmetrical saturation modification reality. Nailed it! <laughs> Brad, give what you think it is. Oh, Finny, that's just cruel. AS, I need like a piece of paper. <laughs> Audio. Stimulation. Sound. Modulation. Wait, ASMR. Audio, uh, audio stimulation. <laughs> Maniacs recreation. Well, it looked nice then. Autonomous sensory meridian response. Jesus what? Christ. <laughs> Duh. Nope. All right. Damn, kids. Well, I'm going to pretend. Should we pretend like we didn't do this? No, I'll just, we'll be after the dipping, it's fine. <laughs> Great, I figured that all out. Action. External thoughts. Oh, dude, I'm the fucking worst. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't figure out why people watch this. <laughs>